Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. My name is Brijan and let's continue with the shopping list mobile app with React Native. So in our last video, we have uh, implemented the retrieve function in our app so that user, whatever user add, let's say let's say butter and if I press enter as you can see it will be added to the list and we are using a flat list to display all the data now let's try to implement the update functionality so that user can check or uncheck the item so for that first of all let's implement that functionality from our app the front end part so go to the shopping item.js here we need to create a state is checked set is checked you state by default the value will be prop dot because we are we will pass this from our app.js so here let's also pass the is check property and let's also pass the id let me just save this item dot is check let me save this and in our shopping item now it's fine okay so we need to change these is check property based on user clicking on these check button so for that go to the expo vector icons search for circle We need a check circle. Let's use this. Copy this. Okay, so here, based on user clicking, if is check property is true, then we want to display this icon. Otherwise, we want to display this icon. Let me save this. And let's apply on press. We will set each check property to the opposite of whatever is check property is currently. And then save this. So if I click on let's say egg, you can see bread, milk, butter. But it's not permanent. If I reload the app. You can see it's gone because it's not permanent we are not writing the data in our database so let's do that now so go to the docs go to build firestone here go to the manage data Here we can find this code snippet for update a document. So to update some fields of a document without overriding the entire document, we will use the update method. For that we need doc and update doc. We need to import this. First of all, import this from index.js. I already done that update doc doc. 
and export it also from update doc and doc in our shopping item let's import that we need a db doc update doc from Marbles. Okay. let me save this now let's create a function which will be called whenever we update this tech property on the front end part update this tech okay so let's go back to the docs let's copy this much and paste it over here since we are using a weight we need to make this asynchronous and we change this to shopping graph use the reference over here so we are getting the reference from our database we have collection name shopping and the third argument will be the id the doc.id which holds in our props.id and here we want to change the is check property and we set it to is check property that we have right now let me just save this now we can use a use effect hook so whenever there is a change in is check property use effect hook will automatically call this update is check function effect update is checked and we want to call this function whenever there is a change in is check property so we pass is checked state as a dependency let me just save this and if uh, let me just delete this and if now if I click on add now go back to your database first off you see it's become true if let's say drinks okay so let me click on drink as you can see it becomes true let's butter you see now if I refresh the app still preserve the values of true and false because we are getting this from the database so basically this is how you can update a document you can specify multiple fields over here and remember to pass one thing that is important that you need to pass the dog reference id so if we do not have the ID of the document that we need to update, uh, Firestore cannot determine which uh, document to update. So that's it for this video. In our next video, we will try to implement the delist functionality so that user can delete individual items as well as all whole list. And we will also implement this number of item in our list in our next video. So thanks for watching it.